<sighs> Wonder Hussy here. I'm all dressed up again because I'm going to town again. Only this time, I have to go back into Vegas. That's right. I have to leave the safety of my Death Valley compound and head back into the belly of the beast. <laughs> I haven't been to Vegas in over a month uh, since I finished cleaning out my house there. And I have a feeling it's going to be kind of uh, overwhelming sensory overload to go back into that bustling city after so long out here in the desert. But I got a dentist appointment. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you might remember that I had a tooth extracted back in April. Huh? Huh? Ah, uh, this one right here. Well, that's just a fake, a uh, temporary fake. They actually made the implant the actual fake tooth that's going to be implanted into the post that they screwed into my jawbone back in, uh, that must have been June. Oh gosh, it's been a long process. Anyway, the actual tooth is ready, and so I have to go back into town to get that screwed in and have this temporary thing taken out, which I can't be more happy about because this uh, temporary implant I couldn't floss, and I'm very picky about my dental hygiene and not being able to floss that tooth. <sighs> has really bothered me. Anyway, I got a busy day ahead of me, so I'd better get going. Headed out of the old compound, see if Jim is home. Oh, Jim's gone. Oh wait, here he comes. There's Jim in his brand new truck. Bye Jim, I'm going to town, I'll be back later. Have a good time. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Look at that truck. That's right, Jim finally got a truck. Thanks to all your generous donations, he was able to go, he had to go all the way up to uh, St. George, Utah, but he got a, a truck that's a 2000, I think. It's 20 years old, but you wouldn't know it to look at it. It's real clean. Uh, it's a V10 uh, quarter ton. I don't remember how much he said he paid for it, but he got a pretty good deal. Um, he's real happy, and guess what? I'm happy too. Thanks again. Okay, like I said, I got a busy day ahead of me. Uh, not only am I going to the dentist to have my new tooth put in, I'm also gonna hit up the health food store because, well, even though there's great grocery stores in Pahrump, the closest town that we go to, they don't really have a huge selection of organic produce and stuff like that, so since I'm gonna be in town anyways, I'm gonna hit up Sprouts. <laughs> and get some greens and stuff. And then I've got to check my mailbox. I have a, uh, my old mailbox in Las Vegas. Uh, even though I haven't uh, used that address in a while, I guess there's still some packages waiting for me there. So I'm gonna go pick up that. Uh, I gotta go to the bank, because oddly there's no Chase Bank in Pahrump either. And just a few kind of odds and ends errands while I'm in the bustling metropolis of Las Vegas. But before I head to Vegas, there's actually a couple errands I gotta run here in the bustling metropolis of Chacopa, believe it or not, too. Okay, first I gotta drop a few letters in the mail. And then next I gotta stop and pick up this trash bag full of bottles we picked up in the desert the other day. Uh, we went for a really nice hike uh, on uh, the day after Thanksgiving, just kind of rambled and wandered all over the desert out here. And whenever we go for a hike out here, we try to bring a trash bag with us just so we can pick up some litter that we come across, that we inevitably come across. Uh, but yesterday we happened to be going through some areas where like old timers used to dump their trash. So there was a lot of old cans and old bottles and well, we are trying to make a bottle wall around our compound. So we need as many glass bottles as we can get. <laughs> so we figured why not kill two birds with one stone, we'll pick up trash and uh, shore up supplies for our bottle wall. So we picked up a bunch of really pretty green bottles out in the desert. And well, we didn't feel like carrying them around with us on our hike. So I kind of stashed them in a bush, figuring I'd come back later and pick them up. And guess what? <laughs> now is later. Let's see. I stashed him here behind this electrical box. Oh yeah, here it is. <laughs> Just where I left it. Actually, I'll show you real quick. We found a bunch of really cool old uh, green 7-Up bottles that, well, 
To be honest, they look pretty old. And so maybe they are technically protected by the Antiquities Act because they're over 50 years old, but come on, you tell me. Are we looting or are we helping the environment? Okay, now I better haul ass to Vegas because, well, guess what? I'm late as usual. Now, fortunately for me, there's not a lot of traffic on this highway from where I live to Las Vegas, at least not on the first part of it. It's the old Spanish trail highway, which is the route the Spaniards pioneered back in the late 1700s, early 1800s, all the way from Santa Fe to Los Angeles. And it just happens to run right through my neck of the woods. And well, fortunately for me, it's paved nowadays, even though well, it's a seldom used highway, at least this part of it. So it's in pretty rough condition in some areas. And that's uh, part of the reason why I kind of want to get on the road early because I don't like driving back on it after dark. Anyway, while I'm speeding along my merry way, uh, don't tell the sheriff, <laughs> uh, I'll fill you in on what's been going on at the old Death Valley compound lately. Okay, like I said, uh, it was Thanksgiving this past weekend and my sister had planned to cook a really nice meal for just me and her and Terry and any other friends who wanted to come by. But then we found out that the, they were having a community potluck Thanksgiving dinner down at the community center. Well, not in the community center because they didn't apply for a permit in time, but out back on the patio. And so we thought that would be a cool place to go uh, just to meet some more of our new neighbors and, well, not have to cook as much food and more importantly, do as many dishes. <laughs> So we went down there and it turned out to be really nice. I met some really cool people who live in the area, including a master falconer. This guy is a master falconer, really interesting to talk to. Bunch of other really cool neighbors, had a great meal. Fortunately, the weather cooperated because the day before Thanksgiving, it was crazy windy out here. I mean, when I say windy, it was like gale force sandstorm winds, gnarly all day long. <laughs> Fortunately, I didn't have to go outdoors that day. I had already done all my shooting and I was just holed up in the casita editing videos. And doubly fortunately, uh, the direction the wind was blowing was not coming at the house. So we didn't get a bunch of them little sand dunes like we had when we first moved in. <laughs> that was before my sister shored up the weather stripping. And if you remember, there was like actual miniature sand dunes piled up on the uh, door sill inside the house. <laughs> Well, the weather stripping's better now, and the wind was blowing in a favorable direction, so we survived the great sandstorm of November 2021 just fine. We had a great Thanksgiving dinner, and then the next day, after Thanksgiving, like I said, we went for a really long, rambling hike all through the desert in these parts. Like, we pretty much, I think we went eight miles, and we needed to because I ate a lot of food at that community potluck. <laughs> And then when we got back to the house, my sister did cook a special meal just for us. And we had Jim come up and join us for dinner. And oh gosh, it was just a really nice evening. So anyway, that's what's been going on back at the ranch. But now I've got to go back to the old ranch, the ranch I lived on for 21 years. The crazy, seething, writhing, psychedelic mess that is Rancho Las Vegas. Anyway, I actually don't mind driving to Vegas at all. It's a beautiful drive. Like I said, there's not a whole lot of traffic on it for at least the first half. And oh gosh, it just goes through some gorgeous country. And matter of fact, we're coming up on one of my favorite parts of the entire drive right now. This is called Emigrant Pass. And it's so named because, well, I guess the Spaniards and whoever all else was emigrating westward on the old Spanish trail came over this pass through the, I think it's the Nopaw Mountains. And well, you'll see in a minute why I like this pass so much. Okay, here we come. Look at this hairpin curve. Look at that long, straight ribbon of road stretching out ahead of us like endless adventure. Okay, anyway, I better put my camera away now because I really got to put the pedal to the metal and get to my dentist. <laughs> and well, I'm supposed to be there in less than an hour. Yikes!
had to pull over to take a whiz. <laughs> Once I get into the city limits, it's not like I can just pull over anywhere and pop a squat. <laughs> Gotta take care of that while I'm still in the desert. Made it with two minutes to spare. <laughs> wah, wah. Uh, apparently the crown they had made to put on my little abutment didn't fit properly. So they had to send it back and redo it. I have to come back again in a week. <laughs> so they just put the old uh, same fake tooth back on and well, I guess I'm good to go for now. But dang, man, this is like a never ending process. I had this tooth extracted April 1st and it's almost December 1st. It's gonna be almost a full year by the time I get this thing replaced. Ah! Oh well, first world problems. <laughs> anyway, I better get going and on my way to my next stop. Okay, now I gotta check my old mailbox. Wow, look at that. I got a package and two letters and I don't even have this address anymore. Oh, you know what? Ugh. While I'm here, I need to get a new pair of false eyelashes because I'm trying to shoot my new 2022 calendar next week and my old falsies are pretty tore up. All right, got some extras, just in case. Okay, now to the bank. Ooh. While I was waiting in line at the ATM, I opened up the package I got, and there's a bunch of cashews, my favorite kind of nuts, and oh, Godiva chocolates. Oh my gosh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love candy. Okay, now I just have to hit the grocery store and I can head back out to the blessed desert. Gosh, people are so angry here and they drive so aggressively. Keep hearing horns honking and brakes screeching and music blaring. <sighs> I'm not used to this. Okay, now to provision my wagon for the long journey back to the desert. Gotta bring a cooler shopping because it takes me an hour and a half to get back to the house and I don't want my kombucha to go bad. Okay. <sighs> One more stop before I can leave this seething metropolis. Ouch. Okay, gas is cheaper in Pahrump because it's in a different county, but I've got to drive 80 miles home and I just barely have enough to get there, so better fuel up while I can, expensive or not. Okay, now I'm ready to head back to the desert. But before I go back to the middle of nowhere, I'm gonna take advantage of one of my favorite guilty pleasures of civilization. Oh, 
Oh man. <laughs> I went all the way to Starbucks to treat myself to one of my favorite holiday indulgences, an eggnog latte, and they don't sell them anymore. I guess there wasn't enough demand. Why people don't like eggnog? And I should note that I'm still not drinking coffee. I was gonna get a decaf because, well, I did start drinking decaf coffee again. And oh man, I was really looking forward to having a delicious decaf eggnog latte on the long drive back to the blessed desert, which now more than ever, I'm glad to be getting back to. Ah! Damn civilization, they make all the wrong choices. I had to settle for this chickpea and avocado box instead. Ah. Let's get out of here. Back in the blessed, peaceful desert, <laughs> where I can once again pull down my pants and pop a squat at the side of the road. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam, and I can pee wherever I like. Huh, well, while I'm out here, might as well take a look inside this box of chocolates and see what we have. Oh. Okay, here's your chance to see if you really know me. Which of these chocolates do you think I'm going to pick? If your answer was all of them, congratulations. That's uh, eventually going to be true, but for now, I went with the white chocolate because I love white chocolate. And since I didn't get an eggnog latte, this is just gonna have to do for my sugar fix. Some kind of buttercream. Delicious. Ah, no, God damn it. Oh no. Oh man, I was trying to put the box back in the car and I dropped the dang thing and they all fell out on the ground. Ah. Well, maybe they'll taste better with a light coating of my beloved desert. Mmm. Gritty. Ugh. I better get out of here before I mess anything else up. Uh. <sighs> I am definitely not used to the city life anymore. <laughs> that was stressful but it sure is nice to be back home in the blessed peaceful desert no music no honking no shouting no angry drivers <laughs> just the old death valley compound Ugh, now i gotta go put all these groceries away and then there's one final thing i want to do today There! Got the tree up and now it really feels like Christmas. <laughs> that was the last thing I wanted to do today uh, because you're supposed to put your tree up, well, you're supposed to put your tree up the day after Thanksgiving. And here I am again, a day late and a dollar short. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm just happy to be back in the peaceful desert after the madness of the big city. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas, everyone!